Well, welcome to the Pro Brick Exclusive YouTube channel, also the Pro One Theologist YouTube channel with Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, also known as Pro Bricky from Pro Bricky Next Gen on Facebook. I want to say something to y'all. I don't believe you can be the full capacity of a man if you're mixing alcohol and drugs with your mind. I think to be the full capacity of the man you need to be for the people in your life you can't have drugs you can't have alcohol you can't have medications because you'll find a lot of people are trying to burrow their way back out of all that stuff a lot of people are trying to burrow their way back to themselves and when you go through a breakup there you are mate all right, yourself. good thanks buddy um, when you go and You'll find when you're going through a breakup, for instance, this is on the relationship level. They try and get you to come back to yourself. Now, what does that mean? What happens to somebody when they're in a relationship? I don't know how in a relationship you go away from yourself. That's the part that I don't understand. There must be some part of yourself that goes missing inside that dimension of your life. There's something that goes missing in that part of your life. You're giving away something of yourself and you have to find it back. And I don't think this is something you can control. I think it's a spiritual thing. It's something that just is the way God made it. I think it's the capacity of you being able to manage conflict, the resilience and the fortitude it takes to be able to try and get through that without having a breakup. I mean, breakup's an everyday word today, isn't it? People just not willing to make the psychological effort to make things work. I mean, my last two relationships, I know it never really had a problem with the woman. The problem centered around other people who were interfering and had their opinions on things um, to the point where I wore out. I wore out. I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't want to be a part of the thing anymore. And what I found interesting was we battled with this issue for nine months. Nine months. Nine, ten months. And the relationship ended in minutes, but it didn't. During the course of the nine months was uh, resentment and, and tiredness all built up because things weren't being able to be resolved. I mean, everything was happening. Everything was happening all around the relationship, but resolving the issue everything but resolving the issue everything else was fine but resolving the fucking issue and the reason why the issue didn't get resolved was because the issue wasn't between me and her it was attached to her and it put boundaries on my access to her from some person that wasn't even in the relationship and for me, that was just all, in the end, that was just all too much. You got full access to me, but me, no access to you. How does that, like, I mean, are we just faking it until we make it, or what was going on there? So there's all different dynamics that can cause these fucking breakups. And a lot of it comes from what's subliminally hiding underneath. Uh, see, communication is so important and a lot of people won't do it. If you're with someone that don't communicate, you're in trouble right from the get-go. It's like picking up a bowling ball with no holes in it. It's not going to go where it needs to. It's like getting on a cruise ship with no lifeboats. If it goes down, everyone's going to go down with it. Communication is what gets you together. Communication is what keeps you together. 
write that down. Communication is what gets you together. Communication is what keeps you together. And without it, you're not going to be together. It's just the way that it is. Now, if you've got a third party interfering in your business, how are you going to navigate that? You've got to cut it off. You've got to cut that person off. Well, how do you do that? You damn well confront the issue. You confront the issue before the issue confronts you, because it will. You better believe it will. At some way, way or another, the devil's got a way of working out how the issue is going to get you. He's just got some way of making things happen so that the issues will find you out. You've got to deal with the issues before the issue deals with you. Because it will. It'll get you one way or another. If you don't fix it, it will find you out. And as I said, the devil's got a way of, and God in, in some instances, if it's possibly going to show you something or teach you something, it's got a way of finding you out. You would not believe how in my last relationship this issue went on for 10 months and just by way of circumstance situation circumstance it just had a way of finding finding out what was going on and the fact of the matter was she had no intention of fixing it the person with the problem had no intention of fixing it and I was just stuck on the fucking tag on the side of it. Well, when the truth come out, what happened? The person with the problem is where he started in the first place. He never moved. He just was trouble, evil. Couldn't help himself, mummy's boy. And she ended up with no relationship. Blinded maternally. Wouldn't confront the issue. You have to confront the issue before the issue confronts you. If you don't confront the issue, the issue will find a way of confronting you. It will. It will find you out. It's just how it works. So what's the issue you've got to deal with? What's the problem you've got to face? Do you have the courage to do it? If you don't, just be honest and say, I can't, I've got to check out, I can't deal with this. Because that's the mentality of most people today. They're weak. They're fucking weak. You ask my children about what weakness is, so you won't find it in me. You mess with me, you're out the door. They, they all got kicked out. All of them got kicked out of the house until they learnt how to grow. That was my due responsibility as a parent. I am not, and did not want to, hamstring my children by not disciplining them the way they needed to be to learn. And that was, in some instances, kicking their little asses outside the house. And I had no fear, and you know what? They've grown into being um, in really good social kids. They accept people, they don't judge. Um, they're not on drugs. And one of them possibly, he's coming off marijuana or weed, just got caught up in some weed. Um, and they're all self-sufficient. Why? Because of discipline. Where there's no discipline, there's no, there's really no growth. The poor old child's left up to itself. And if you pedestalise these children like a lot of single mothers are doing today, they're doing one of two things. They're either abusing them or pedestalising them for the most part. There's always this, the world owes me or you owe me or something like that. No. Why are people frightened of their children? Their children are relying on you. Your children are relying on you to teach them, to show them. And it doesn't matter if it suits or not. A lot of these children have got the idea that they know everything. They know nothing. Nothing. I had a 20 something year old tell me the other day, I know everything I need to know. I walked away. I thought, good luck with that, I'm 60 and I'm still, as much as I can every minute of every day, learning what I can about life. 
you have to learn every day. It's going to be rough. You have to learn every single day. You have to. There's no choice. Otherwise, you're going to stagnate. You're going to be a pain in the ass. You're going to be relying on people outside of yourself. You're not going to be independent in a way in which really you're of any good, good to anyone. And you probably end up bored or something. I don't know, but what I do know is you have to grow on a daily basis. You have to be responsible and accountable to yourself or somebody else at a standard of growth, integral growth, one way or another. And that's all there is to it. As soon as you think you know everything, as soon as you think you've arrived, as soon as you're not prepared to listen. I've had young blokes tell me, um, we, we don't get along with middle-aged men. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, thank God I'm not here to spend time with yous. I was there to see their mum. But who do you think taught them that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that went round in a big circle, didn't it? And that's just how it is. You can say, well, you're being judgmental, you're being... No, I'm fucking not. That's how it went. That's how it was. You can't change reality. You can make excuses for yourself. You can, you know, arm and, you know, blame other people, be whatever. Doesn't matter. That was the truth of the matter. The truth of the matter was these people didn't want to learn from people that know. I said to this woman, I'm a millionaire. I've succeeded in life. I can show you a voice a trick or two. Nothing. Didn't want to know about it. And the two guys couldn't get me out of the house fucking quick enough. I thought, well, oh well. Fool use. And it was of no consequence to me. And they're probably thinking no cons consequence to them. We'll ask the mother now about that. I wasn't. You know, I tried. But the, I had no hope interference and all the rest of it so you've got to grow every day as a man you've got to be capable to listen understand stay off drugs and everything that's just a given isn't it and alcohol and medications only where necessary medications that is forget about alcohol and dope and all that it's bullshit it's proven and you've got no choice be spiritually, emotionally, physically and mentally the best version of yourself that you can be. This is Reverend Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia, on the Pro Ricky exclusive YouTube channel. Bye for now.